Welcome back to Tokyo Xanadu X Plus. Now it might not look like I've done a whole lot of moving since the end of the last video, but that is not true. I've done a whole lot of stuff. A whole lot of stuff. For one, I have uh, I've actually made the effort to change the elements up and start getting better ones. I have lost all that money I had. I'm down to 1500 yen. So how much did I have? Like around 100,000? That's gone. I've gone all around the city. I've picked up a lot of additional things. I got a bunch of gifts. I already gave them to people. No big deal. I uh, I got the books. I think I ended up with two books, including the more me today. Let's look at that. I also got Road to Speak. Uh, found that at I believe Akros Tower. Let's read more me today, number seven. Special feature: three years of Speak of Dominance. On June 27th at Akros Tower, the idol group Spika performed at their third anniversary concert, minus their leader, Ryan Kugayama, who missed most of the concert due to health issues. However, she managed to make it from the hospital in time to perform their sure-to-be-hit song in the show's finale. The performance ended with a rousing ovation and calls for an encore, leading to the group performing three more songs for their enthusiastic fans. Exclusive interview with Spika. After their performance, the members of Speaker spared us a few minutes to talk with us. Us. Congratulations on the concert. It was a lot of fun. I'm supposed to be here as a reporter, but it was hard not to get caught up in the excitement. Haruna. Thanks so much. It all still feels like a dream. Rika. Luckily, it wasn't a disaster. Glare. God, Rika's such a soon-soon. Rihon. God, I said I was sorry. Seriously, though. I'll try not to get sick before a performance. Sorry, everyone. Us. Ha 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 ha. But the show was pretty amazing even before you arrived, Rion. Wakaba and Akira were way more out outgoing than usual. Wakaba. I'm so sorry. It was just... I felt like I was in a trance. Akira. I tried as hard as I could. I hope next time isn't as stressful. Rika. Hey! Rion. Ha ha. Now, now. Haruna. For now, we just want to bask in the adoration. <laughs> Event Summer... Oh God, that was stressful. Event Summer Festival. The annual Moromiya Summer Summer Festival will be held from July 24th to July 26th at Moromiya Memorial Park. Sponsors include the Hokota Group and other local businesses. The opening day will feature the world-famous idol group Galaxy, who will be making an appearance. The festival is incredibly popular, so be sure to swing by. Wait, let me go back and read that sentence. The opening day will feature the world famous idol group Galaxy will be making an appearance. That is not a proper sentence. Axis. Axis? Event Moramiya International Festival. On July 4th, the National Defense Force held its annual international festival on its base. Normally off limits to civilians, the military welcomed the public with various vendor stalls and displays of various military vehicles, including tanks helicopters, and the ever-popular Valiant Gears. By all accounts, the event was a huge success. Town Walkabout, Kamiyama Inn. On the northeast, northeast edge of the city, near the border with Saitama Prefecture, the inn has been a fixture of the area for generations. The springs there are said to offer miraculous cures and has long been popular with Japan's most cele yeah, celebrated authors. The lobby has been updated to reflect more modern Japanese sensibilities and leads guests to the outdoor baths and their renowned courtyard. A selection of the area's finest sakes are available to be enjoyed with their famous traditional cuisine. Oh yeah, I got that wisdom. Road to Spika, Spika's Origins. In June 2012, the entertainment agency ASG, headquartered in Osaka Ward of Tokyo, brought three young students to its offices, Haruna Tendo, Raika Kisagari, and Ryan Kugayama. The three eighth graders, barely 14 years old, sat nervously in a meeting room. Though they were acquainted with each other, they didn't know each other well, nor why they were brought here. Suzutani, the celebrated producer behind the global dominating idol group Galaxy, strolled into the room and dropped a bomb on the girls. Starting today, you three will be known as the idol group Spika and will sparkle like bright shining stars. Debut performance. To say things started rough for Spika would be a gross understatement. Their concerts were sparsely attended and their, fan and their few fans were more ambivalent than enthusiastic. It was after two months of this 
when just before a performance in Mormia, Rion pulled her crestfallen bandmates aside and embraced her inner Chuck Dukowski. What the fuck? So what if no one came to see us? Two people or 200, we have to hit it just as hard. It was, it was with that impassioned plea that Spica truly began. With Haruna and Raika now sharing Rion's determination, they put on a show that immediately went viral across Nier. As their shows increased in popularity and attendance, they were soon able to achieve their goal of headlining a major performance at the Yokohama Arena. New Blood, two years after Spica's formation, new members joined the group. Surprisingly, it was the current members who asked their producer, Suzutani, to bring someone new into the project. Right now, Spica is starting to fall into a rut. We want to expand our horizons. That's it. It kind of ended suddenly. I was just getting into it. <laughs> what a weird book that was, though. I kind of feel like maybe the Chuck Dukowski reference wasn't in the uh, the original script. Maybe. All right, what else is there? I didn't miss anything in the event, right? I also got the, uh, I believe, three new recipes. Well, I found three. I hope those are the only three that are new to this chapter. I did find them and add them already. Um, I checked in with Ko's grandfather. He gave me a new accessory that I put on Ko. I got a uh, new decoration. Where is it? Events. I think it's in here. It is the M Mumba Wamba, a fully automated cleaning robot ready to work with the flip of a switch. I have not put it up yet though, so let's go to Ko's room. This should be the final one. Oh yeah, I have something to be perfect for my room. Okay, let's go ahead and... It's a Roomba. I fired up my Mumba Wamba. Let's see, the switch is right here. <laughs> this is great. It's almost like magic. This is probably the best purchase I've made in a while. Who? <laughs> the magical girl Lisa figure. Who are going to be interested in these things? Huh, Shiori? Yeah, I'm in my bedroom. Nice timing, <sighs> I forgot that we hadn't had Rion in here yet because she just joined the party. Huh? <laughs> Rion? What are you doing here? What's going on, Shiori? <laughs> Uh, you sit right there also. I'll do it. Don't worry about it. You're still recovering from being sick and all, so don't push yourself. Rion, you're fine with barley tea, right? You came all the way back here just to grab a book you forgot? Hmm, it's a library book that I borrowed and they said that someone else wanted to check it out. The return date is still a ways away, but I know what it's like to look forward to reading something. I should hurry and return it after I rest for a bit. Oh man, you're being way too nice. And I take it Rion just happened to tag along with you. Yeah, she just happened to mention it on here. Also, I had some free time and I was bored to tears. I thought it'd be fun to barge into the neighbor's house with Shiori's protection. Our surprise was a huge success. Please spare me. <laughs> Fucking speak posters of the picture. I had honestly forgotten about that. Isn't that a little awkward? But wow, you really are neighbors. No wonder you two get along so well. Chortle. Now that I think about it, this is the first time I've ever been in a boy's room. <laughs> I see how it is now. God damn it. <laughs> damn her. Oh, you even have a speaker poster up. Thank you. Damn it, stop snooping around my room. Yeah, my magical girl Lisa. Wait, what the heck? Is that a magical girl Lisa figure? They actually made one with this pose, it's so cute. Hold on a second, Ko. You're a closet fanboy? 
No, it just fell into my lap. I blame June. Come on, no need to be shy about it. If you like something, then you should embrace. Hmm. Since I did the theme song, I made it a point to watch the anime. Uh, this is actually a really cute figure. Let's see what's hiding under the skirt. Wow, Rion. Knock it off, will you? I knew buying it was a mistake. It was so not a mistake. You shut your mouth. Yeah, go, Roomba. Freak Shiori out. I was just a little surprised. I think I accidentally turned it on. And why are you fondling all of my stuff? Why are you playing with my vacuum robot? Sorry, I got curious, that's all. But isn't that one of those automatic vacuum cleaners that is super popular nowadays? It's kind of cute. I know what you mean. Like it's really, like it's trying really hard to clean for you. <laughs> this is stupid. This is so dumb. Saying a vacuum cleaner is cute. I'm never going to understand girls, am I? But still, if these things get any more advanced, it'll make cleaning totally hassle-free. Someday we can leave all the dirty work to robots. Those damn filthy robots. Ko, do you have any plans this weekend? Would it be okay for me to tidy up in here? Huh? Why now of all times? And it's already pretty clean. Nope, I mean, just look at all that dust in the corners. We'll need to dive into every nook and cranny. I'm not giving up my cleaning crown to a machine. What the fuck is happening here? She sounds super fired up. All right, since you're going, since you're gung ho about the whole thing, I'm going to help too. What the hell? Thanks, Rion. What if I don't want to do it? Well, I'm glad Shiori seems to be doing okay. Afterward, we took a break, and I saw Shiori and Rion off as they returned to school. That was weird. Rion's max HP increased by 150. Goes by 30. Well, that's all the room decorations. I'm the greatest. Let's go. I don't know where I want to go. Um, I guess go to the academy. I also did the optional eclipse, which is strangely here. It was on the third floor. Very strange place for that optional eclipse to pop up. Didn't see any books in the library. Um, I played some Blade with the Gate of Avalon. I might have finished it. Um, the two new challengers were Rika, the Soon Soon from Spika, and then Mitsuki's grandfather. And when I beat him, he gave me a Win Master Core. I bet it's pretty good too. I was like, ooh, thank you. I will take that. Don't know if I did anything else. Popped around the shops. Like I said, got a bunch of elements, and I already put them in. Oh, I did replay one Eclipse. I did the one from the intermission, and I bumped it up from an A to an S, but I still have only A's on the two Grim Greed Eclipses that we've been to. If I do do those, I'll wait until like the last minute when I'm fully powered up and overpowered for those Eclipses. I wish I had money, though. Like, I'm super broke. I did not buy any new equipment. No, like, uh, armor or shoes. I believe I know what the best ones available are. They're uh, at the military shop in the mall, actually. That guy finally got new stuff and it's really good. Alright, time to decide how to spend these five affinity shards. I believe all five people who I spend them on will, uh, like, quote unquote, max them out. I'll get their, uh, their little message card, so I'll be able to see their final event. And I think I know who I want. Let's actually start go to the mall and start with June. June was one of the characters I did not see when I played the Vita version, so I would like to see his. I got three tickets for the event at Nanahoshi Mall the other day. If you use them at stores in the mall, you'll get gifts and other free stuff. Oh yeah, I heard something about that. I guess it's limited to only run through July. Right. They expire today, so I wanted to use them, but... <laughs> Why don't we check out the stores we don't usually go to? Any ideas? Should I wander around the mall with June? Yeah. June, you know, if you want, I'll go with you. I'm kind of curious about what they're handing out. Really? Oh, that'd be great. It looks like one ticket can be used for up to two people. 
Why don't we check out some stuff together? Aw, uh, yeah, we're going on a date with June. We explore the mall, checking out the stores I don't usually go into. That's not true, I go into all these stores. Using the ticket here will get you a discount on casual glasses. Let me pick something out. The ones over here don't have prescription lenses in them. Speaking of which, I bought like this exact gift for Mitsuki and she loved it. Hey, those look pretty good on you. Really? It definitely feels different. How about these, Ko? Yeah, look at this cool guy. They make you look kind of menacing. Uh, that's not true. I think they look cool. Let's try out other stuff. Hey, look at the Yukiko glasses over there. Oh, so I can take cosplay photos if I use the ticket? Oh man, this is gonna be great! This is going to be a blast. Oh, that's right, Coke, get over here. I'll put on some, like, Falcom reference shit. Yo, June, what the hell are you doing with my clothes? Aw, oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. And we can't forget this. And done. Aw, oh, things are getting sexy. Aw, oh, he's Demon Prince Reed! Aw, oh, yeah, this is the best! Aw, oh, yeah, we've made a good choice today! What the? This is Magical Girl Elise's arch nemesis, Demon Prince Reen. I knew you'd look good in it, Ko. <laughs> this might be my favorite bonding event ever. I'm never going to live this down, am I? Ah, I'm taking this off right now. Hey, w wait, I didn't take a photo yet. <laughs> yeah, walking up. I'll take the picture if you'd like. Oh, I know. June, you should dress as Magical Girl Elisa and then you can pose together. Yes, I would like that. That's an awesome idea. It is? Oh, please, please let it happen. Aw, oh, they're not going to actually show it. Damn it. Afterward, the last ticket was planned to be used for a massage, however. I'm sorry, but all the ticket slots are currently full. Right now, the current wait is about 30 minutes or more. Oh, really? Ko has gotta go, gotta go to work soon, so maybe we should go to another store. Hmm, what should we do? Is there any other store you want to visit? How about the fortune teller next door? Seems like you can, you can have your fortune told with a ticket. A fortune teller, huh? I've heard people say she's really good. Yeah, it's true. She's helped my soul levels. It's not something I'm interested in, so I never come come around here. Let's just try it out. I visited in the past. It's scary how accurate the fortune teller is. That is optional dialogue. That really did pop up because I've come in here with Go before. Are you here anyway? Want to go? Sure, why not? Since you seem up for it. Let's go inside. This thing is actually not that helpful. It's just... Once per chapter, you can bring in one party member. Don't judge us. <laughs> どうやら<笑><笑> 結びつけるのは思いです。今後二人や他の方々がどのような運命をたどるにしても、それさえ忘れなければ途切れることはないでしょう。どうかお忘れなく。ああ、肝に銘じます。
After the fortune teller telling session, we decided to take a break for a minute. うん。最後の占いはちょっと気になることを言われちまったが。でも楽しかったじゃない。河野おかげでようやくチケットも使い切れたよ。まあ、俺の方もいろいろ回れて目いっぱい楽しめたぜ。一緒にチケットを使わせ
持ちよかったやっぱりステージは声がよく響いていいわねやれやれ結局自分が歌いたかっただけじゃないか<笑>バレたかそれでリオンちゃんのシークレット単独ライブのご感想はああよかったぜアカペラなのにどこかから演奏まで聞こえた気がするっつうかこの間の事件からさらに上達したんじゃねえかうんそうみたい前よりのびのびと歌えてる気がする周りにはスピカのメンバーがいてファンのみんなも待ってくれてるそう思ったらもう何も怖くなくなったっていうかさそうかたくたくましいっつうかなんつうか<笑>それにしてもよかったのかよ俺一人に聞かせるのはもったいないとか言ってたくせに<笑>いいに決まってるじゃないこの間のお礼よお礼それにもう君もファンになってくれたでしょちなんだよそれ<笑>照れない照れない<笑>私の中の力もきっとコントロールできるようになってみせるわ本当の意味でスピカの私の歌を届けるためにもああもちろん俺も力にならせてもらうぜ改めてよろしくなリオンうんはいでは今日は There we go. There's also、uh, the quest to do. I obviously haven't forgotten about those. And one of them's here, as well as、uh, where Ko's gonna work. He's gonna work at the boat shop over there. Let's see. There she is. <sighs> you look tired, Mitsuki. Oh, well, my personal life has gotten a little complicated. The XRC has had a lot to do lately as well. But a few things are taking up my time. Are you alright? Oh, it's nothing I can't handle. But since I have a free moment, I think I'll relax. I haven't been able to for quite a while. Make sure you get enough rest yourself, Toki Sakakun. She looks exhausted. Maybe I should keep her company to make sure she rests. Then maybe. Hey, wanna take. That boat over there out on the lake? I'll even row it for you. Come again? I'm gonna be working as a receptionist part time here soon. I thought I should see what it's like before I start renting them out. I mean, as long as you're okay with it. Tokisaka kun. Sure. Let's head out together then. With Mitsuki in tow, I went to the boat rental docks. Then rode out onto the lake. Damn, rowing is a lot harder than I thought it'd be. Feels like if I don't pay attention, I'll just go in a random direction. No worries, I think you're actually doing really well. Then again, this is the first time I've ever done this. It is a lot of fun though. The sound of water, the slow rocking of the boat, creaking of the oars, and all that, and all that to how nice the weather is right now. And I might fall asleep if I'm not careful. <laughs> I'm just going to be rowing, so feel free to take a nap if you want. I mean, it's not like you have to worry about me being a creeper or anything. Yeah, not the best line there. That never even occurred to me. But I think I'll take this chance to relax for a bit. So, what do you think about it? I don't know if you're a good person. I don't know if 
主に親戚方面とのやり取りです XRC の活動には関係ないので報告していませんでしたが実はこの間の事件をきっかけにミクリアさんとの婚約話が完全になくなることになりましてああそうだったんですかまああれだけのことをやらかしたら当然ってやつかもともと本気まりではなかったのでおじさまたちも口出しできなかったみたいですですが早速代わりを立てようという話が上がり始めているらしくておじいさまや京香さんがなんとか食い止めていてくれてますがやれやれまだ半月も経ってないっつうのになんつうか懲りないっすねええさすがに私もちょっとへきえきしてしまうというかでもある意味これも宿命なのかもしれません私が北斗に名を連ねる以上は切っても切り離せないミクリアさんも言っていましたが結局茶番でしかないのでしょうね美月先輩あすみませんまた愚痴っぽくなってしまって<笑>時坂くん相手だとつい弱音も出てきてしまうみたいですどうか心配なさらずに私事で XRC にご迷惑は先輩迷惑だなんて思うわけないっすよだって俺たちもう仲間じゃないっすか任務だろうが私事だろうが遠慮せずに愚痴ってくれていいんですその中に手伝えることがあるならいくらでも手伝います俺もヒイラギも潮先輩やソラも勇気は問わねえだっている今まで先輩が支えてくれた分精一杯力になりますから<笑>私もまだまだ未熟ですね後輩にそこまで言わせてしまうなんてありがとう時坂君なんだか頑張れる気がしてきましたいろいろなしがらみはありますけど負けてられませんよね<笑>その息っす頑張りましょう先輩 XRC に集った同志として<笑>はい Afterward? さてとそろそろボート小屋に戻りましょうかみつき先輩<笑>結局眠っちまったか先輩もお疲れみたいだしもう一周くらいしてから戻るか。After chilling out in the boat for a while, I woke up Mitsuki and then headed back to the cafe. Friend page has been updated. I can't remember the last time I was able to take it easy like this. I have a lot of responsibilities, but I haven't thrown in the towel yet. Thank you, Toki Sakakun. Oh man, I hope I still get her message card even though she's like right below five. Let's head over to. Where is he? It's in Haraicho. Shio, my dude! Yay! Received a message card from Mitsuki. Where is he? He's on the side street over there. Oops. Something wrong? Your face is. Ah, it's nothing. Something to take care of later. Did you have work today? <laughs> Don't push yourself too much. Weird. Chio. You're hiding something, aren't you? What are you saying? You don't need to worry about it. Just go to your. Are you really going to try to do everything yourself again? I thought we were friends. You're insane if you think I'm just going to let it slide this time. Tokisaka. 
You're right. I heard from Shio about what was he was trying to hide. So Chaos called you out? It's that old rival gang. So they're finally on the move? Yeah, they finally got their shit together. They're hell-bent on taking out the one obstacle keeping them out of Moramiya. Me. Seems like a first-year Moramiya Academy student is being held hostage. I was told to go to the underpass alone if I want the hostage returned in one piece. Using the same tired tactics. But I won't repeat what happened the last time with Aki. Shio, you're right. There's no point in walking into such an obvious trap. There's no time to call it anyone else. It's going to have to be the two of us. Alright, I'll take you up on your offer to help. Just the two of us. We're gonna help Shio fight some guys. Let's go, Tokisaka. <laughs> These losers don't get names, they're just called chaos. あの高畑俊が一方的にボロクソになるところな。元瀬田の。た、高畑先輩。やれやれ。捕まったのはお前だったか。一年坊主。待ってな。すぐに助けてやるからよ。はい。約束通り一人で来たようだな。男じゃねえか、高畑よ。なめられたもんだ。高畑三人程度で俺を倒せるとでも思ってんのか。さすがにそこまで思い上がっちゃいねえさ。だ
check really quickly. Received a message from Shio. No, that's Taizo. Who the fuck is Shigue? Is it one of the Yakuza guys? I can't fucking remember. It's not one of the old dudes from Blaze, is it? I guess I could look at friends, people in the city maybe? Oh, Shige, this guy, the uh, we've only seen him a couple times with the old, old detective cop guy. Forgot about that dude. Alright, uh, well there's one last big one to do and it should be obvious who's getting it. This is the one I remember the most too. Alright, Hiragi. What's with this reaction? What's wrong? Horus just predicted an eclipse reaction. But it's doing something I've never seen before. A new reaction? The spiritual particle should be expanding, but it's almost zero. How strange. Huh, uh, I guess that is weird. It's over by the abandoned factory. I think we should check it out. The danger level isn't predicted to be that high, so I can take care of it my on my own. A new reaction. She said she's fine by herself, but... Jeez, did you forget who you were talking to? You know I can't let you go alone, right? Toki Saka. Let's go, Hiragi. The factory's calling our names. Right. No matter what's waiting for us, we can get through it together. Let's go. We head into the abandoned factory giving off the horse reaction. This is the place it identified. I haven't really seen anything weird happen here since the whole Kugayama thing, though. Whatever the case, the readings are getting stronger. There's no doubt that something is present here. Initiating Eclipse Search. Gate? I don't sense anything dangerous. I've never seen anything like this before. I wonder what's waiting inside. Doesn't matter. I'm ready for anything. Let's go, Hiragi. Right, Tokisaka. What the? This is... Amazing. I was kind of at a loss for words there. We did go through a gate, right? Definitely, no doubt about it. Which means this is... <laughs> that is so not what she just said. <laughs> she called them Onisan and Onesan. Come on, Axis. This is one of my biggest pet peeves in, like, localizations that keep Japanese dubs. Don't fucking lie to me with English text when I can clearly hear what was said. Meikyu 
全くの偶然だろうけどね念のため様子を見に来たけどこれなら問題はないかなあ待ちなさいあなたにはいろいろと聞きたいことが<笑>それじゃあここにはグリードも徘徊はしていないしばらくすれば消えるだろうから二人でゆっくりしていくといい「ゆっくりしてけ」ってやれやれ<笑>まったく一体何をしに来たんだかまあとりあえず危険はないみたいだし一安心ねそれにしても<笑>こんな綺麗で穏やかな異界もあったんだなええ美しくて現実離れしていてザナドゥそう名付けられた理由の一端がなんとなく分かった気がするわまあ確かになありがとなヒラギえ他の連中には悪いがおかげでいいもんが見られた気がする異界に関わってなきゃこの場所に来るなんてことは多分なかったはずだし元を正せばヒイラギのおかげってことになりそうだからな<笑>そんなことはないわあの異界のこといい謎めいた側面は未だ多いけど私も時坂君たちと出会わなければ今ここに立ってはいなかったと思うだからこちらこそ礼を言わせてちょうだい<笑>お互い様かこの先もきっといろいろあるんだろうがヒイラギたちと一緒ならもっといろいろな光景を見られそうな気がするなええこれからも頑張りましょう時坂君 XRC のみんなと一緒に After a while, the eclipse began to fade away. We exited that place while feeling pangs of unexplained nostalgia. Afterwards, we went to the cafe in Brick Alley and relaxed for a while in peaceful silence. Hey, so level 6. This is the final one, I believe. At so level 6, your chain strike strength increases. Your chain attacks become stronger and deal greater damage. So I'm at the max soul level. For Ko, anyway. An eclipse that's not a maze, huh? I'd like to see it again. I never thought I'd say that about an eclipse. Thanks, Tokisaka. I'm glad we all met. Ah. Yeah, that one was really easy to remember. See the message from Hiragi. I'm glad we all met. And that does it for friendship episodes. Let's go into. Yeah, it's in events. And these are all the people that we get the final bonding events for Hiragi, Shio, Mitsuki, Ryon, Goro Sensei, Shiori, and Jun. Well, nothing left to do now but tackle some of these quests. We can probably get one in before we have to wrap up. Let me look at them on Nier. Right, XRC interview. That's back at the school, right? At the cafeteria. Let's go there. Oh, wrong way. Oh, I went to the annex building. I meant to go to the clubhouse. There we go. What are our Anton and Ricky pair doing? What are the names Hitomi and Marie, right? Yeah. I'm not feeling it today. With Goro Sensei out, where's the motivation? Is he sick? I'm like super worried. Maybe he got food poisoning. You did give him those cookies you made in Home Ec yesterday, after all. It wasn't me. He said they were good. Alright, here's our girl. 
There you are, Tokisaka. Did you see my post on Nier? Yeah, about the interview with the XRC members, right? Slow news day or something? Don't you have better things to write about? Shows how much you know. Your little club has set tongues wagging all over. Everyone's curious. Seriously? Come on, Hiragi and President Hokuto are both members? That's a big deal right there. Then you've got the hot the hotshot karate transfer Sora, the boy wonder of the first year class Shinomiya. And for some reason that that no one can figure out, the biggest delinquent in school, plus a freaking idol. If there's not a story and all that, I'll eat my siphon. Ugh, you can't hide anything from this girl. There's no writing from the news, Tokisaka. Except your fate. Fine, it's better than having you just make stuff up, I guess. Hey, you take that back. There's no smoke where there's no fire, and I'm always fair and square. More like pushy and relentless. Whatever. So you just need me to get everyone together? Yep. And it's and it's on the way, so I have everyone meet in the XRC club room. I'll need photos of the room and shots of you guys doing whatever it is you do. <sighs> I just better make sure no one gives anything away. I contacted the other members via Siphone. Then together, Hekiru and I headed to the XRC club room. Thank you for agreeing to this interview despite your busy schedule. My name is Hekiru. I'm from the Journalism Club. Thank you for today. Uh, sure. She's really taking this seriously. Please go easy on us. Of course. First off, I would like to ask you about your club activities. I'm the club president, Tokisaka. The XRC's purpose is to investigate mysterious phenomena around Warmia City. The X represents the unknown, and that is what we seek. The unknown peaks curiosity, after all. Our club activity involves going to the scene in question and directly talking to those affected by it. If we're able to clarify things, great, but even if we can't, we look for patterns to warn people. That's all I have to say about that. I see. There certainly have been some rather ominous things occurring lately. For example, there were rumors of people being spirited away. Mm, when did that start again? Spirit away, huh? I must have been during the whole thing with Sora and Aizawa. Oh, I think it was... Oh crap, I have to answer. That was late April, I think. Although I could just cheat and look it up right now. In fact, I'm probably going to have to. I think there are a lot of questions in this interview. I think it was late April. It was about a month after Sora joined the club, so there's no mistake. Yeah, that's true. I see, yep. That matches what I have in my notes. Seems your club does exactly what you say it does. Hmm. Did she buy it? But there certainly are all kinds of mysterious goings on lately. Case in point, did you guys hear about the God's app? Ugh. Ah, it looks like Shinomiya here might know a thing or two. It was a popular app, but some of the its users met with unfortunate accidents. Then it suddenly just disappeared from online and in his iPhone it had been downloaded to. Uh, is that what happened? I'd like to know if the XRC looked into this matter. According to my notes, there were two victims related to the app. The first was Ryota Ibuki from Class 2B. Do you know who the other one was? Uh, mind if I pass? I don't have a clue about the other. I think it's like a first year girl. That's because you weren't at school at the time. I'll handle it. Aw, oh, fuck. Okay. Well, it's not Hitomi. Hitomi's the really snarky little girl at the bookstore, I believe. I think it's two. Let me look it up. Yeah, it's two. It was a first year named Ayumi. Isn't she a classmate of yours, Sora? Yeah, she said she got burned when an electric stove malfunctioned. Hmm, correct. Seems you do have a bit of investigative ability. By the way, I found out something else that's very interesting. It seems that both victims' accidents were connected to electronics. Does the XRC view this information? How does the XRC view this information? 
Oh, well, it's possible that it was some sort of magnetic interference. Modern electronics are especially vulnerable to electromagnetic waves. On top of that, if an app has a bug, I can exasperate the, the issue and cause serious malfunctions. The reason the app vanished is likely because it got caught up in the system's automatic maintenance. I see. So that's how you'd interpret it? Phew, that was close. She keeps poking at the dangerous parts. As expected of the president of the journalism club. You definitely can't drop your guard around her. Alright then, how about this? Remember that turf war with those Blaze characters? I have some information that points to the members using substances that resemble illegal drugs. How do you know that much? Oh, way to go, Sora. Oh, what's this? The XRC is familiar with an ordinary bit of hooliganism? There are many inexplicable things about it, after all. You pulled a fast one on us. Hmm. So what is it you're after? Well, according to my sources, the drug itself is called heat. Do you know what form it was in? It was in a pill. This one's pretty easy. Like, how could you possibly forget that one? I think it was a pill type. It was made of some new kind of dangerous drug, I heard. The source isn't known yet. It's been dealt with. You better not blow it out of proportion with some clickbait article. Yeah, way to go, Shio. I want to screenshot this dialogue box. You're my man. Well, hmm. So they knew about this too, just as I suspected. Uh, heck, Yuru. Ahem, moving on then. Here's a little something I heard earlier. It seems a fairy tale book from the library up and vanished. Fairy tale? Only a select few even know that thing existed. Hee hee hee. Would the XRC happen to know the title of that book? Uh, I believe it's the Misty Castle. Let me check. Yeah. Which of the Misty Castle? That's right. I'd been planning on publishing an article for the summer since the fog and story were so similar. Hmm. I'm surprised you knew. I thought I was the only one. Uh, no, no. I'm the one who's surprised at how much you know about this. She's way better than any amateur reporter. All right, then. Let's see if you know. Now then. No, that one's not good enough. Flip, flip. Forget it, just take my best shot. B best? I see. This must be her real objective. Um, Hekiru, if things aren't going well, we can stop any time. Not yet, just answer this one last question. <laughs> this one's still under investigation, so I didn't want to use it, but... In Haraicho, there happens to be a room. A room at the karaoke place where bizarre things happen. What is the room number, and what's the phenomenon? Answer both. Holy shit, I can't remember that. <laughs> oh, that. First of all, shouldn't Rion just speak up and be like, Yo, it's this one. I go to it all the time. Help me out here, Rion. Uh, apparently, it's 107. And, uh, it's... I think it's the third one. Yeah, it is. It's 107, right? I know, because I'm a regular. And as, as for the phenomenon, beautiful people hear a woman's voice. A beautiful voice, like mine. Shut up, Rion. She's so full of herself. <laughs> as if you knew all along. Impossible. Um, Hekiru? I see. There is still a lot of unanswered questions about the membership of this club and your activities. But I will acknowledge the passion and investigative abilities of the XRC. It's official, then. I formally recognize you as the rival of the journalism club. What are you talking about? In other words, she was seeing if the XRC's ability to gather information would become a threat. That's what she was measuring. It seems like we'll be competing over who, I can, land, who can land scoops first. So I thought it would be worthwhile to assess the competition. And if you ended up revealing some secret info, all the better for me. But it didn't go quite as planned. I knew she had ulterior motives. That was so draining. This girl's insane. Hmm, <laughs> she's a sly one, all right. Anyway, let's get keep going. Oh, and I need a picture of you all. And a comment. I was serious about writing an article. There's more? 
The journalism club is evil. I guess she does have passion and guts, though. Oh, we gotta keep up, then. After the initial grilling, the exhausted XRC members were then focused to do individual interviews. Forced to do inter individual interviews. Seemingly satisfied, Hekaru then searched the club room and eventually departed in high spirits. 600 gems. Got virtue, wisdom. Nothing got ranked up, though. That's disappointing. I bet I got tons of... Oh, wait, that's right. There's no, like, point system in this game. It's not an equivalent to bracer point slash detective point slash academic points. It just goes into coast stats. Which has been a while since we looked at that. Let's look at that. So, uh, no, wait. I have to do it in near. It's under... Crap, where is it? Main? Profile. There we go. Oh, I'm so close to getting... What is that? Oh, I can't remember what it's fucking called. The last one. They all have names. I wonder if I'll be able to max all three out. I'm not sure. I mean, I feel like I've been doing all the stuff that affects that. But that third one lagging behind has me a little worried. Alright, I guess that does it for now. When we wrap... Or rather, yeah. We'll wrap up, and when we pick up next time, we got three quests to do, I believe. Uh, two that we've already gotten, and there's one hidden one. I kind of forgot what it is. But I know it's out there somewhere, so we'll finish up those last two quests. Or last three, rather. Oh no, it's four. There are three that we've been given, and one hidden one. So that should take up some time. Then eventually we'll hopefully progress the story forward. Go to work at that boat shop or whatever the heck that place is. Do that next time. See you guys in the next one.